Surveillance video from March of last year shows a police officer punching an inmate in a wheelchair. The man allegedly spit on the officer. But at the end of the day, your response shouldn't be a strike when you're dealing with an inmate that is handcuffed, who is leg ironed, who is elderly, that was just released from the hospital and was in a wheelchair. Brittany Iriart was a special agent with the U.S. State Department for nearly a decade. Now she works for the city of Denver, where she investigates police misconduct. It was not a strike. I did not hit him. You, don't, you said that didn't look like a strike? No, ma'am. And How would you say that's not a strike? Because I didn't hit him. I did not hit his face. I did not injure him whatsoever. Harriet's office, the Public Integrity Division, recommended the Denver Sheriff's Department terminate the officer for lying, but that didn't happen. Instead, city leaders rejected the findings and let the officer keep his job. I was in disbelief, and I think everybody else that was involved in the case was in disbelief, because, you know, it has video evidence. You can't refute that video evidence. Iriart says she complained to her boss, but nothing happened. Then she went to the press. I mean, that's just who I am. And when I say see something wrong, I say something. Soon after, she was put on administrative leave. A spokeswoman for the Denver Department of Public Safety says Iriart is under investigation for sharing confidential information, and the department stands by its police discipline process. Protesters across the country have called for a change to the good old boys culture of American policing in which whistleblowing is discouraged and loyalty is demanded. They say the recent killing of George Floyd only makes obvious the harm in allowing officers with abusive track records to return to the streets. It's a code of silence. It, it's the idea that uh, law enforcement officers should keep uh, concerns about the legality of the actions of their fellow officers uh, in-house and not let that uh, be discussed outside of the law enforcement agency and frankly even within the law enforcement agency. Experts say for reform to be meaningful it must reach the top of law enforcement leadership. Not like in Denver where Ariart's civilian office was created just a year and a half ago to take internal investigations out of police hands. Ultimately though police brass still heavily influences discipline decisions. Until we actually have a completely civilianized uh, review process, an investigatory process, we're never going to actually have any type of oversight or transparency in this process. Iriart says she fears she'll be fired and others in her office may be cowed into silence. All the more reason, she says, to speak up. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera.